right to them. So, we are playing Resident Evil. Uh, this is the, well, I was going to say the HD remaster, but it's more of the HD remaster remaster. Uh, because this is the Xbox One version of the game, but this is basically a remaster of a remaster that was on the GameCube. Which was a remaster of the original, which was on the PlayStation 1. So, new game. Resident Evil. Right. We'll do a wide controls alternate and subtitles on. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Right. How do you like your games? Like climbing a mountain for film, but it takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike, go outside but not so strenuous, and like taking a walk you can relax and enjoy yourself. So basically this is difficulty, so this is easy, medium and hard. So I think I'll go for medium. Uh, I have played this before but it was on easy so I am going to play on medium. So. Approved. Oh. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play as Jill uh, because Jill has uh, more inventory slots, so it's best. Uh, should I go for old or new? I'll go for old. Jill Valentine. Anyway, Blood. so I hope you can hear me right now. Otherwise, this will just be right shit. <laughs> Uh, I didn't do any testing to see if you could actually hear me or not, but uh, I can change any settings. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Run, bitch! Run! Oh. Come on! Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? this way.
into this fatal horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Okay, so Chris just disappears. But no. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Ah, uh, it's the iconic door. Dining room. Yes, that's out the old way. Okay. Oh, okay. So I use them to save, like, from right here, but I'm not going to save just yet. Uh, oh. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. It's blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Oh, Let's oh. just hope it's not Chris's. What exactly do you need to examine? Yeah, what exactly do you need to examine? It's blood. You just said it was blood. So here's this clock that we put. Let's go over here. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! He's like two foot away from you. How the fuck can't you hit him in the head? What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Uh, Wesky. Wesky. Oh, uh, he gone. He gone. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Okay. Oh yeah. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Okay. 
Right, so that was something else that's the difference between uh, Chris and Jill is Jill gets the lockpick, uh, I want to say from the start of the game. Uh, but I think, I, I don't, either Chris doesn't get it at all, or he gets it later on. Right, so there's a shiny object at the top of this statue that obviously I can't reach. Woman drawing water. What's that? Oh. Okay. Is that a leather? Oh, God's sake! This one. Emblem of a sword. Alright, so. Uh, push this out of the way. Alright, hold on. Okay. There we go. You can use this to get whatever it is in this statue. It's a map of Mansion first floor. Yes, there we go. Nice. Got the map. Got the map. Good. We got the map of Mansion. Nice. Alright, let's go for it here now. Alright, this is what I do. Oh, I found a dagger. I think that's something. Oh. Using defensive items such as dice will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. So to equip a defensive item, go to the start screen and then select an item from the defensive menu, item menu, then a quick command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual, blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh shit, uh, is it this button? No, is it this button? Okay, I think Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's already built. Okay. Let's, let's go back. Ooh. Oh, hello. Ah. You fell over, you fucking idiot. Okay, so, let's stab that from the end of the face. Is he dead? Hold on. Uh, yeah, he did. Nice. But can I reload now? Uh, wait, hold on. Can I actually get my knife back? No, I can't. Okay. Alright, he did. So, now I guess I just leave this there. Oh, okay. Go back up to Barry. Maybe see like the zombie. Barry? Where are you, Barry? Oh, he's not. A blood says I thought, hope these didn't come from your friends. Well, I, I don't actually know where they came from, but. They might have been from, uh, what's his name? That guy. Kenneth, was it? Alright, let's save. Okay, I'll just go over this one because this was one that I was doing anyway. But I didn't get far into the game, as you saw, so. Same game. Okay. So that's it. Right, let's go. So that zombie up like got up and walked out this still, so I assume it's still here. Ah, okay. But also you can't have Kenneth. It'll say he's holding something. It's a film that belongs to Kenneth and need a video play to see what I'm Okay, nice. Uh this dog. He ain't dead. Oh. 
Ah, that's my nice. Right, some uh herbs over here. So let's put these in. Green herb. Green herb. I don't trust you. Uh, hit right on that. Uh, he did say just go on the first floor for now, so I think that's what I might do. Oh, this one. Uh, go the other way. Let's see if there's anything else I can say for eyes it just uh, See you, Kenneth. Oh. No, I think I'm just gonna stay right here. You know, just right here. That's my feeling. I guess I'm gonna have to go upstairs then because like literally nowhere else I can go. By the way, yeah, the controls are a bit weird where um, you kind of have to adjust your control to every camera angle. So right, I start here and I press down to go towards the camera. But then I press down again and it takes me over here. And I'm still pressing down, but it's moving forward. But if I stop and I press down again, I change. You know what I mean? So you basically have to like either keep holding the controls or stop and change them every time the camera changes angle. If that makes sense. There. Oh, there. No. More plants. Right, now let's go. Why? Combine you. Combine you. There we go. Mixed herbs. I'll leave these ones here. Um, okay. Oh. Well, there's one of them there, like around the corner. But fuck it, I'm just gonna go through this stuff. Stretch on the shield. Death is only the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Stretch on the shield. Death is the true essence of course. Okay. What is this? What's, uh, before I put that up, what's up? No. Stretch on the shield. Death is everything. Okay. No. Slots. I will have a helmet. Whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. Okay. Take the mansion. Yay! Oh god. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. Oh shit. Uh, okay. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, put it back. Put it back. Free to go. I think I'm free to go. <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm gonna have to find a way to like uh, make a a what's it called kind of key, like you know, a model or something, so I can put that in there. Sorry if you can hear my disturbance. Sorry. Okay. So it's definitely a zombie around here. Oh 
Okay, this is cool. It's off from the other side, alright. Hello? Aha, hello. Golden arrow. Okay. Oh shit. Uh, wait. Press exam. Examine that. Okay, so I. Oh shit, wrong one. I assume that means I have to examine this. I had the second be removed. Uh, that's Perry. Is it Peridot or Peridot? Uh -oh. It's a side photo of Poor Man's Emerald. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Come on, let me skip it. There we go. Nice, okay. Uh, oh, wait, on the side. Ah, uh, it's. This. Go. So from your side. Wait, what the fuck does that? Shards, I think. Go on this way. You unlocked it. I'm guessing with the block pick. Oh, I'm up here. Oh god. Soul Shadow. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm just letting him come to me. Oh god, he was a lot closer than I thought he was. <laughs> oh, nice. His head exploded. Alright, I can see a blue gem on this statue. Uh, Alright, so I probably have to like push her down here. I say probably, even though I know kind of what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's enough. And off you go. I really think that should have been louder. But anyway, uh, was there another door over here? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another dagger. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, there was two doors. Right, so what's this door? Okay, slots. I'm going to sword. Okay. Let's go. Uh, through this door because I think this will just take me uh, to that main hall, but it will be upstairs. So I can just go back down the stairs. By the way, I don't think I mentioned the fact that uh, this game was a. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't. Uh, it was slightly, kind of, sort of. Uh, requested to me by my brother-in-law, Reese. if you're watching. Hi. Um, he suggested, because uh, I asked him, uh, like, oh, uh, what game do you want to like me to play like for YouTube? And he said, uh, a horror game. And so I was just like, right, I went onto my games that I had, and I was just like, right, what games do I have that I can play? Uh, and Resident Evil was one of them. And I thought, oh, well, I've kind of just started it and I'm not too far into it, so I might as well try and play it. Uh, so that's why I'm here now. So, right, um, second floor. Uh, yes. Ah, yeah. Uh, I can see where I can go. Uh, there is a. Actually, no, I'm seeing I'm here. I might as well save. 24 minutes in. I think we're, yes. That's burps. I do apologize. I always do two save states. Uh, just in case, like, um, one, like, corrupts or something like that. It, it's like, I, I don't think it's ever happened before. Or has it? It might have done. Uh, but I, I do it just in every game, just in case. Okay, right, yes, uh, we've got up here, and there is a door right here that I can go through. Okay. 
Why can I go over? Oh. Shop. Shop's nice. I'm assuming that's all that was out here. What's that? Ah! Okay. Uh, I need the arrow for this. Oops. There's a mouse should be okay. There's two of this bird in that mouth. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, a book is fit perfectly in the indentation. Right, okay, something's gonna happen here. No? Right, okay, so this I can probably examine this book. Oh, shit. The four maths, a mass that speaks no evil, a mass that smells no evil, a mass that sees no evil, a mass that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. And all four fall into place, evil will awake. Right, so I'm guessing that's referring to these four uh, maths, and then this is the thing that will awaken, this coffin up here. Okay. But anyway, uh, I got myself a key. Uh, examine. Aha, it's a sword key. So I need to figure out uh, what doors uh, this where the sword key goes. Yeah. Uh, I can't exactly remember. But that'll be something. Right, let's go back into, uh, into the main mansion. I'm gonna need a. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, item box. Uh, because, uh, I need to put these away because I don't need these yet. Probably just read up my gun a little bit. Um, so where can I go? Um, I'm trying to think of where I can go. Uh, right, you know what? I think I can remember that I can go into the basement. Uh, it was like past the elevator before, so. Sword open this door. Slots. Oh no, that's armor key. Okay. But I do remember that sword key could open this down here. So, hold on, if I do this, uh, nah. Okay, yeah, I've got everything. When, um, the room is green on the map, that means that you've got every item in it. 
but if it's uh, red, like you can see that other room, it means that you... Oh yeah, it actually has a key at the top. Like, green 100% of items have been got, and then red in progress, which means you haven't got all the items in that room. So, like, zombies can open doors now. Okay, so, okay, there we go. He went down so fucking easily. What the fuck? Oh, that's why. Uh. Okay, he did now. Very nice. Very nice. I out of here. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, Rambus? Is, is that right? I don't know. Uh, Alrighty then. So I just got some items. Not items. Uh, I got some ammo and stuff. What did I actually get? Ammo and uh, self defense items, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, uh, I think the self key could be used upstairs, I think, but I could be wrong. So we'll see. Oh god, I hear crows. The crows are bad, by the way. Wait, where the fuck? There was a body there before. Hold on a second. So yeah, I think later on those crows actually attack you. I'm pretty sure they do. Wait. Oh wait, shit, I've gone through one door. This takes me back to that uh that other key. I can't swap the sword key for it. I saw right, so this takes me to the dining room, and now I think about it, I'm pretty sure the other room in the dining room, this door here, needed the salt key. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Outside? On top of now, can you listen to that? Let's see this. There's a door right here. What? Uh, what's down here? Right, so I'm pretty sure that door uh, that I just unlocked actually goes back to the main room. You know the um, what's it called? The um, well, the main hall basically. It goes back to the main hall. Uh, so I'm just gonna stay inside uh, to see where else I can go. Oh, I don't know. Oh wait. Oh, there he is. Come on, bro. How did you know I was up here? He probably heard my steps. But yeah, uh, I'll still wait till he comes up here so I can shoot the fucker. Okay, 
I'm assuming he's dead, but I'm pretty sure there's a save room down here. Ooh. In here, I think? Is there a save room in here? Yes, it is a save room. Yes. Alright, time to chuck some stuff. Oh, wait, what? Some stuff in there. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, I'll keep this on me because I'm going to save in here anyway. Uh, uh, you can go in here. Uh, everything else I think I need. Pretty much. Yes. Yeah, I basically need everything. So. Uh, what's the type right now? Is in room? Yes. Right, so I think I was thinking of ending the episode here, but I think I'm gonna go on just a little bit longer. Medical storage room. Yes. A well used pet. So I have serum here, sickly collar. Is everything we got in this room? No, there's something in this room. Why is it oh, there we go. Special instructions for disposal of dead bodies. Uh, we have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods uh, to cease their resurrection. One, incineration, and two, destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. And meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. Uh, you'll need something to light it with and you can find it by yourself. Okay. Uh, was that the thing I need to find? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, actually. Uh, let me go. Wait. Aha! There we go. So I think it's right bumper. Yeah, right bumper. Right bumper up uh, um, uh, the map. Alright, so there's some more zombies out here. Okay. Hello? There's nothing but cleaning products. There's a fucking like, like blood salt rag rag. Okay. You use a lot. Of okay. What's in here? No. Take the battery pack. Okay, sure. Wait, is that the shotgun? Oh, it's a broken shotgun. Uh, now that I think about it, I know where I can use that as kerosene. Okay. Pink ribbon. Okay, sure. Is that it in there? Oh, shit. Wrong one. Okay, yep, yeah, both. Nice. So, yeah, uh, the broken shotgun, uh, I can use to get the actual shotgun. Strong window outside. Uh, have I got everything in this corridor? Yeah, okay, good. I heard the zombie moan, where the fuck did that come from? I still don't know. Up here? No? Up here? Oh, I killed you, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna assume he's actually dead. Okay, hell no. Alright, what's up? Oh, it leads here. Okay. Alright, so let me look at this. Uh, right. Um. I can 
we'll probably go to the right side now, maybe. Yeah, the right side of the mansion because uh, my key can probably open that now. So uh, this way, shit. Uh, right. Right, it's better if I just go down this corridor, and then I can just go straight out. Straight out to the dining room, and then uh, I can just go to, um, what's it called? Ah, my eye. Uh, I can just go straight across the hall. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry for the microphone disturbance, if there is any. Uh, probably. Uh, just my eye. Uh, got something in my eye just now. Okay, so is there any doors across here that I can open? Oh, the sword key opens stuff. Nice. Hello? Right, that's. Wait. Oh, wait, it's got one, and it won't be able to move. Finally, a door I can go through. Okay. That's a dog whistle. of medicinal herbs. It's well known fact that uh, there exist many plants that have created certain medicinal healing powers. Uh, since ancient times mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book we will sample three herbs that are native to the Arctic Mountains and briefly outline each of their medical qualities. Each herb uh, has a distinct colour and a distinct medicinal quality. The green herb recovers physical strength, the blue herb neutralizes natural toxins, however the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs result in magnified effects. Uh, we will outline the effects of red herbs when we mix with other herbs uh, when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own for true knowledge is quite through experience. That's not really a good thing for scientists to, to be seeing. What's this? Oh, it's a lighter. Uh, I really just have no inventory space. Not at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. I did not expect that. Oh, if I can't say that, I to get it. Is there a guy coming up the stairs right now? There's definitely a guy coming up the stairs right now. We are not to. Okay. I'm just trying to like find where I can use the sword key so I can like uh what do you call it? Get rid of it. I can discard it. Actually, imagine that. Think about it. I'm pretty sure there's actually an item box down here. Hello. Right, I know he's definitely not dead. Okay, he did. Right, so I'm pretty sure in here there's a save room. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Uh, let's put some stuff in there. Oh, that's the flask. Right, so... I don't know. 
keep that in there for now. I, need to, I might as well keep this in there for now. Uh, I need you, you. Yes, uh, I'm gonna sit you. Wait, hold on, let me put this flask up as well. Uh, this is to burn the zombies, by the way. But I don't really care about burning them, so screw it. Let's put this up. So, what you would do if you wanted to burn the zombies is, uh, well, okay, that's more armor. Uh, is you would take that flask, uh, you would fill it up uh, at these, these uh, gas cans. Why are they called gas cans? Just call them, like fuel canister. Uh, you'd fill them, fill them up with a fuel canister, and then um, you would go to a zombie that is uh, down. Not one that you've blown the head off of, uh, but then you would also use the lighter that I found in that other room, uh, and then you would light them on fire. And that basically stops them from becoming uh, crimson heads later on in the game, which are basically just faster and stronger zombies. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you very much so much for watching. Uh, this is the first episode of uh, a new series that I'm doing, Resident Evil. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully this 47 minutes that I've been recording for uh, have been uh, a good experience. Maybe, who knows. Uh, and hopefully this entire time it's been recording my voice. If it hasn't, then I'll, I'd be pissed off at myself. But anyway, uh, yeah, so like I said, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I'll see you all uh, next time. Bye bye.